Honey, don't check the credit cards this week. It's for a good cause. And welcome back to Facts of Fishing FYI, the fishing news, views, and info you can't use show. And here's some info I, I couldn't have used. Uh, fishing is not a crime, right? Wrong. If you do it in Port Hope, Ontario, Canada, it seems it just may be. That's right. Port Hope, Ontario, Canada, home to one of the most famous Lake Ontario tributaries ever, the Ganaraska River, fondly referred to as the Gany. This river has probably received thousands, if not millions, of anglers' visits over the years. But Port Hope says, well, we don't want you coming here this year. Due to COVID and social distancing concerns, they have shut down all their parks and all the access to the river. But anglers, anglers? Well, if they're nothing else, they are a resourceful bunch. And the guys from the Bearded Woodsman, they figured some stuff out. You see, they decided we don't need your stinking parks. We're gonna launch our boat at the mouth of the river and paddle our fanny all the way up the Guinea avoiding Port Hope public land. So I was just chatting with the media guy up there. He's filming us the whole time. He's already written his story. Two men ticketed for violating city bylaws fishing. Um, but the, the police are, uh, they're talking with the sergeant. The sergeant's gonna do some research. We spoke with them. We verified that we have a right to be here. They verified that that is true. And so they said, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Pretty resourceful and I'll tell you this, right, wrong, indifferent, I don't know. One thing I do know is when it comes to COVID, we're never going to agree. So let me know your opinion down below. And the hits keep coming. Just when you thought anglers couldn't be any more criminal, an 18-year-old Key West college student was jailed for holding a Goliath grouper. That's right. The giant fish is protected and should not be removed from the water. But he's an 18 year old college student and it's not real if you don't post a picture and get a thousand likes. But those thousand likes cost him $7,500 in bail and probably some court fees. And trust me, this is not the week you wanna be locked up because it is Bass Fishing Hall of Fame Celebration Week. The event, usually a gala event attended by the who's who of the fishing industry, won't happen this year due to COVID, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate five incredible inductees and a mind-blowing auction. I mean, you're gonna see items that have never, ever been offered to people. Uh, so, um, honey, don't check the credit cards this week. It's for a good cause. Congrats to all this year's inductees. Ron Linder, Brian Kershaw, Jay Ellis, Steve Bowman, and James Hedden. In closing this week, there's no laughs, there's no jokes, there's no funny video. The industry lost a true giant this week in Tommy Scarless. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family, his friends, and anybody that was lucky enough to have this amazing man come through their life.